reverend sirs dear parents dear brothers and sisters dear children my dear friends i sarat von seka am contesting the forthcoming presidential elections as a common candidate pledging allegiance not to a political party but to the general public the stakeholders of any democratic process however since i made the decision to run for the presidency certain sections of the government have concocted preposterous stories about me and my decision to enter politics i believe it is my duty to set the record straight and explain my reasons for entering politics before i proceed any further i am a career army officer who had dedicated 40 years of my life to the service i have held several responsible positions in the army during this period and as its commander gave leadership to the security forces that defeated ltt terrorism delivering an unprecedented victory to the country the magnitude of the sacrifices made by the people of this country to achieve this victory is truly remarkable around 25000 members of the army navy air force the special task force civil defense force and the police made the ultimate sacrifice with their lives while thousands more lost their sight and limbs rendering them permanently disabled in order to achieve this victory in the aftermath of the war victory i as commander of the army also had the responsibility to attend to the grievances of the soldiers families who lost their loved ones the thousands of internally displaced persons languishing in camps and help sri lanka move forward unfortunately i never got that opportunity as i was relegated to the ceremonial post of chief of defense staff and the government capitalized on the hard earned victory to fortify its power base by holding meaningless elections the victory achieved with the loss of life and limb of the security forces and the assistance of various quarters should have been transformed into a meaningful effort to rebuild the country in a way that would assure in a brighter future for all but sadly it is being desecrated and vandalized by the incumbent regime for the benefit of one family the armed forces did not fight a dueling war to protect one family the victory rightfully belongs to all sri lankans in fact i had emphasized repeatedly and with confidence that the ltt could be defeated militarily and the war could be won decisively the incumbent president mahindra rajapaksa never publicly or otherwise displayed this belief if you read the mahindra chintanaya nowhere has he said the war could be won militarily all he talks about is talking to prabhakaran and solving the problem now to claim the credit for the war victory is not only unreasonable but also deceitful it is thanks to the military that the war was won and it is to the military the nation owes its gratitude not to a family that sat on the sidelines and now wants to claim the glory the expectation of the military victory for the benefit of a single family cannot be condoned no would my conscience allow me to remain silent in the face of such blatant exploitation i realized i needed to become more active in stemming the rot and ensuring that the war we won is converted into a true victory of peace it was under these circumstances that i accepted the invitation by several political parties and civilian groups to contest as their common candidate at the january 26th presidential election i made this decision not because i am greedy for power for wealth or for personal luxuries i had neither a large family to protect nor a political dynasty to preserve i seek to restore sri lanka to her once proud status as a democratic nation which guards the rights of all its citizens irrespective of ethnicity 
and ensure that the fundamentals of democracy are not threatened by the greedy politicians. Therefore, it is a simple mandate I seek to re-establish the rule of law and good governance in Sri Lanka and to end the public wastage and blatant political corruption and mismanagement that are rendering the common man destitute. I believe that the bane of this country is the office of the executive presidency, which affords one individual absolute power with no accountability. In order for Sri Lanka to move forward towards real peace and prosperity, the ex executive presidential system must be abolished and replaced with a parliamentary system that ensures that the people's representatives are truly answerable to their constituents. I am a person who has never reneged on his promises. Four years ago, after I took up the responsibility as commander of the Sri Lanka Army, I made a pledge to the people and to the president that no commander who succeeds me shall carry the burden of fighting the LTT. In May 2009, I fulfilled that promise. I am a person who does not lie to the public who honors his word and produces tangible results rather than empty promises. Therefore, when you go to the polls at this election, I urge you to retain your faith and your confidence in me to fulfill my promises to rid the country from the executive presidency, re-establish democracy and create a brighter future for every one of you. Victory for the Swan, together and united. Let us march towards creating a peaceful and prosperous Sri Lanka. I look forward to meeting you all electronically once more in your homes on January 17th at 8.30 p.m. Good night.